Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. And this tutorial is going to be about making the character to turn while we are sprinting. Okay. So we're going to use the right mouse click to do to trigger that action. So I'm going to choose the right mouse button. I'm going to create a new variable called turn. I'm going to set it. So as soon as we press the right mouse button, I'm going to enable it. I'm going to add a little bit of delay. So we're going to turn off this variable automatically. We're going to set it to be false. Okay. So on the character blueprint is pretty much done. So now let's go to our animation blueprint. And here we're going to get on the event graph that variable that we've just created there. So after then is two, I'm going to get is valid node. I'm going to get is valid. I'm going to get my characters blueprint reference. So if you don't have yet your characters blueprint reference, you can cast it like I've done on mine here. So I have the event blueprint begin play and then I have cast to my characters blueprint. So here I'm going to get turn. I'm going to promote it to a variable. Okay. So now we're going to drag and drop the animation that we're going to use, which in this case, I'm going to use this one here. I'm just going to use this animation here for the tutorial not to be too much long. So here on the locomotion, I'm going to drag and drop it to there. I'm going to create a new state transition. So we're going to be able to sprint from walking or running. Okay. So I'm going to get to the transition rule and I'm going to get the turned turn variable. Okay. So that we can turn. Actually, if you go to the animation preview, you can see here on the root motion mode, it is set to be root motion from everything. If you set it to be ignore root motion and apply compile save, press play again. As you can see, my character does not walk properly, right? I still have the control of the character and I don't want that. I want to block the control. And uh, the second thing is that my animation is looping. So it is a way to fix this is by turning off the loop animation. Okay. Uh, now here on the root motion mode, we're going to have to set it to the root motion from everything. We're going to be able to, we're going to have to change the root motion mode at the runtime. So how we can do that? Well, uh, there is one way to do this, which is by making it so that as soon as the character is walking and then he starts to sprint a uh, turn, uh, we can create an event that is going to be triggered as soon as we, as soon as we go to that transition. So in this case here, I'm going to name the entered state event to be, for example, I don't know, enable root motion start turn okay I'm going to compile I'm going to go to the event graph and type the same name that we have created here now I'm going to get the event animation notify and we can do pretty much anything here I'm going to set the root motion mode to so as you can see here, we have a lot of options. I'm going to choose root motion from everything. Okay. So as soon as we play, and as soon as we go to this transitions, to this transition of turning, then we're going to enable the root motion. Okay. But how do we disable it? We can disable the root motion using an animation notify event. So I want to, of course, before everything else, uh, make sure your animation has root bone. 
So if you disable the this option here called animation, uh, enable root motion, you're going to be able to see that I have a red line here representing the root bone. Okay, so make sure your animation has that and make sure you enable the root motion first because it's not going to work without it, without the root bone. And I want you to disable the root motion right over here. So as soon as the character ends the turn uh, transition, the turn action in the animation, at this frame right here, I want to disable it. So I'm going to add a new notify and I'm going to call this disable with motion. Okay. Like over here. I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to call that notify. I'm going to type disable rm. So I'm going to copy this paste it in here and I'm going to disable ignore root motion now I'm going to press play again and try again now I have my control back I can control my character okay that's fine but there is also something else I can do, which is to have the control of how much rotation rate you want to, your character to have where, as soon as we are in the state of turning. Okay, so for doing that, to control how much your character can rotate in a specific, in a specific amount of time inside the animation, as soon as the character is playing this turn animation, is by creating a curve key. So we can create a new curve key by pressing on here, add a new curve, and create a new curve. I'm going to choose the curve name now, which is going to be turn end. I'm going to set the default value to be one, but for doing that, I need to choose the first I'm going to have to add a new key. So for doing that, you firstly select which animation, which uh, frame of the animation you want it to have, the key, then you press enter. So now you have these options here to choose which value you want to have for that specific curve. So here, it's currently negative zero, so we can add it to one. So it's going to start from one, okay? We can press F to focus. Now, as soon as it ends, I'm going to add a new key by typing enter. And on here, I'm going to add zero, okay? So now that I have added two curve keys, We are going to go to our animation blueprint and get that curve name. My curve name is turn end. So I'm going to get curve value. And I'm going to type turn end. Like so. For test purposes, we can print a string and get the return value and press on play. So as you can see, a lot of zeros are being on our screen. And if we press right mouse button, as you can see, the number changes, right? We can also see that in slow motion. So when you press one for slow motion, if you have the code, if you press right click, right mouse button, as you can see, the number slowly goes to one. Okay. And as soon as the character stops, starts to go forward after he finishes turning, as you can see, the value slowly goes to zero.
So we're going to make it so that we can modify the control, the, the rotation rate of the character as soon as the character stops turning. Okay. So I'm going to, out of the return value, I'm going to get a lerp. I'm going to plug this to alpha. And I'm going to choose for A, I'm going to choose 150. And for B, I'm going to choose 500. 500, this is the normal value. If you want to check what's what's the current value that you have on your character. So if you type here on turn rate, the rotation rate on the character movement, here's my default value. It's set to 500. So setting back to 500 is going to reset the value. The higher the value, the more control you can have for your character. So I'm going to print a string again and see what we get. So for now we have the default value. So when I press one for slow motion and I right click, I think we're gonna have to do the reverse because the value goes to 500. I want it to go to 150. So I'm going to replace the values here. And this is going to be 150. So remember, the, the lower the value, the less controllable, the less controllable the character is going to be regarding the rotation rate. And then as soon as the character stops rotating, stops turning, then we're going to slowly get our rotation rate back to normal, which is 500, okay? But now our character just stay in this idle position, this weird position. That's because we don't have a state going back, a transition rule going back to rock run, okay? So I'm going to add that. And I'm going to add a automatic rule based on sequence player in state. I can compile, compile, save, and let's see if we have the normal state. The character is napping a little bit when he goes to the walking state. I'm going to delay this a little bit. I'm going to do it dot three. Let's see if we have a smoother transition. going to leave it as 33. So we can also do this so we can get the name of our animation, which is called sprint turn 180. So we're going to call it sprint turn ratio. So as soon as, so as, soon as that animation ends, going to get a less than one. Then as soon as the animation ends, I'm going to play the walk run. I think that looks a lot better. The other thing that I don't like is that it is snappy. It is napping a little bit to the center, as you can see. When I go like this, it snaps. I don't like that. So the way you can fix this is by going to the character blueprint. And here on the character movement, I'm going to type root motion. And here we have the option to allow physics rotation during animation root motion. By enabling this option, what it's going to do is that you're going to be able to control your character into like regarding the rotation of the character. So when you press, when you are executing an animation that has root motion, if this option is off, is disabled, it's, it's set to false. You're not going to be able to like rotate the character when you press the AST keys. Right. And if you have this option on, you're going to be able to rotate the character by pressing one of the keys. They will 
the WASD keys. The WASD keys, right? So I think that's going to be very useful for us to enable this option. So we can avoid the snapping issue that we have currently. So I think I'm going to I'm having too much of, wait, uh, let's go back to our animation graph and we need to get the rotation rate of the character. So basically why that's happening is because we don't have set yet. We are not setting the rotation rate of the character yet. That's why you are having this issue here that you can turn freely like this. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out of my character's blueprints the movement component, character movement. And I'm going to set the rotation rate. And after the print string, I'm going to set only the Z axis to update the value. So this is going to update the rotation rate value as we want accordingly to the curve key. I think this is a lot better right now. I think this is going to look a lot better when we have the ALS. Implementing it on the ALS, which is the advanced locomotion system created by Longmire Locomotion on YouTube. So I think that's going to be it. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, you can comment down below and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.